Welcome everybody, Jamison C. Montgomery. I wanted to give you guys a up close and personal look at the red light therapy device, also known as the infrared light therapy device. I have a little uh, mini table here with some of the things that are really close to my heart here. So one of those being the infrared device and you'll see the company name here. So if you are interested, I can link to this company here. There may be another model because I know this one has really been sold out a lot lately. So if you see a different model pop up, just know that it's comparative to this same model and it's gonna do the same thing. Uh, I believe the watts are still the same. You'll see that there, 300 watts. Uh, and the way you know is, let me get a good a close shot of that, is uh, ceramic infrared. So that'll tell you right there that you got the real deal. So I'm gonna fire this thing on and that's gonna give you you can hear that fan running in that that uh, motor running in there and uh, you have to be very careful because this does get hot it does get pretty pretty hot uh, the distance that I'm at right now would say would suffice so if you were to just face this device here uh, facing the ear that's bothering you or both I tend to do both ears just because regardless the lights gonna penetrate uh, to that portion that section of your uh, the inside of where that you station tube is at so it really doesn't technically matter but I always say get to get as closest to the ear that's bothering you as possible so uh, just going over a little bit of this machine it does have a clock feature so basically I always say 15 minutes because that's what's the you know the feature is going to give you is a 15 minute maximum and then there's an auto shut off feature which is awesome so that way you can make sure that if you ever do doze off or fall asleep which I have done before uh, the machine automatically cuts off and you know you save your energy there or more specifically you just don't want the machine running all night so if you look closely let's see if I can get a good shot here uh, you can't really see it but there's like a uh, there's like a uh, symbol here that says the time so if you absolutely sorry that power is back on sorry it's this one <laughs> this right here will control the dial of how much time you need or how much time you want uh, this is uh, the power button and this one's the dial that controls how much time you're, you're going to need which is pretty cool because uh, I usually don't use that side so that's probably why I goofed just now I typically just use the power side on and off I let it go all the way through I've never cut the time down or whatnot but uh, you can certainly use this machine to say you don't have a lot of time you know, I'll just do two minutes or whatnot so that is an option for you another thing that's really really nice that I wanted to show you guys it has a swivel which I thought was pretty great um, the swivel feature is really nice because if you're uh, at an angle or you're laying on like if you're laying on a flat surface and you really can't get a direct connection with the light you can certainly uh, angle it down and then uh, you know it'll kind of trigger that portion of where you are so it's pretty cool or if you stand up sometimes I you know I'll stand up stretch I want to angle it upward so it really just depends on what you're going to be using the machine primarily for but uh, obviously in this sense we're going to target eustachian tube dysfunction tinnitus tmj i think it's a great machine i will link in the description i think a lot of you will get a lot of good feedback from it you'll get a lot of good results just be sure to stay as consistent as possible because if you quit in between and then restart uh you know it's gonna take longer to feel or see any results uh I do want to say this, as it gets to one, the, the button does turn into a feature where it goes upward. So it, it resets back to 15. So just wanted to throw that out there. I got confused at first. When I first bought the machine, I was like, is that one? I thought it was going to shut off because the button typically goes downward, but it just kind of goes in a spiral effect. So I just want to throw that out there to you guys. But anyways, I just want to give you a close up demonstration of kind of a first person view of the machine to let you know what it's like and uh, see if this will be something you'll be interested in. Uh, I am 100% available for questions, so feel free to reach out to me via email. You can also reach me at Facebook, Eustachian Tube Dysfunction 24-7 Help Group, or you can reach me on uh, Instagram, Sergey Monty. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. So I hope you guys all get relief out of this, and I will be talking to you all very soon. Take care now.